and our interpersonal relationships. What do you want, Maggie? Why don't you watch a video? Go watch a video. Yeah, go watch a video. Okay, as it first might seem... How does that depend on what people are doing? This shows the rate of mind wandering across 22 activities, ranging from a high of 65% when people are taking a shower, brushing their teeth, to 50% when they're working, to 40% when they're exercising, all the way down to this one short on the right that I think some of you are probably laughing at. 10% of the time, people mind wandering when they're having sex. I'm doing that. It's quite interesting in this graph. And that is basically, from my exception, no matter what people are doing, they're mind wandering at least 30% of the time. Which suggests, I think, that mind wandering isn't just frequent, it's ubiquitous. It pervades basically everything that we do. In my talk today, I've told you a little bit about mind wandering, a variable that I think turns out to be fairly important in the equation for happiness. My hope is that over time, by tracking people's moment-to-moment -moment happiness and, and their experiences in daily life, we'll be able to uncover a lot of important causes of happiness. And then in the end, a scientific understanding of happiness will help us create a future that's not only richer and healthier, but happier as well. Thank you. All right. What are we going to watch now, Maggie? You want to watch a video? You want to watch a video? Well... Working and watching TV. And finally, a mind-wandering question. Are you thinking about something other than what you're currently doing? People could say no. In other words, I'm focused only on my task. Or, yes, I am thinking about something else. And the topic of those thoughts are pleasant, neutral, or unpleasant. Any of those yes responses are what we call mind wandering. So, what did we find? This graph shows happiness on the vertical axis, and you can see that bar there representing how happy people are when they're focused on the present, when they're not mind wandering. As it turns out, people are substantially less happy when their minds are wandering than when they're not. They might look at this result and say, okay, sure, on average, people are less happy when they're mind wandering, but surely when their minds are shying away from something that wasn't very enjoyable to begin with, at least then mind wandering should be doing something to trust. Well, as it turns out, people are less happy when they're mind wandering no matter what they're doing. For example, people don't really like commuting work very much, it's one of their least enjoyable activities. And yet, they are substantially happier when they're focused only on their commute than when their mind is going off to something else. It's amazing. So, how could this be happening? I think part of the reason, a big part of the reason, is that when our minds wander, we often think about unpleasant things, and they are enormously less happy when they do that. Our worries, our anxieties, our regrets. And yet, even when people are thinking about something neutral, they're still considerably less happy than when they're not mind wandering at all. Even when they're thinking about something described as pleasant, they're actually just slightly less happy than when they aren't mind wandering. If mind wandering were a soft machine, like having a chance to lose $50, $20, or $1, right? You never want to play. So I've been talking about this, suggesting perhaps that mind wandering causes happiness, but all I've really shown you is that these two things are correlated. It's possible that's the case, but it might also be the case that when people are happy, then they mind wander. Maybe that's what's really going on. How can we ever disentangle these two possibilities? One fact that we can take advantage of, I think the fact that all we is true, is that time goes forward, not backward. Right? The cause has to come before the effect. We're... Good girl. You gonna get it all for me? Be my assistant? Hmm? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? What do you think?
What's the matter, sweetie? You wonder what's going on? What is that? What is that? What is that? 